Let us understand how to join data from multiple tables. We will primarily focus on ASCII style join, join with on. There are different types of joins. Inner join, get all the records from both the datasets which satisfies join condition. Outer join, will get into the details as part of the next topic. The example for inner join will look like this. You can specify all the columns which you want to project as part of the select clause. Then you can say from. As part of the from clause, you can have two tables at a time with a join. In this case, we are trying to join orders and order items. We are also specifying aliases. The advantage of using these aliases uh, is we will know to which table these columns belong to. We can also say orders.orderID, orders.orderDate, etc. But uh, it will be too verbose. Instead, we tend to use aliases like this and we use aliases to refer the columns uh, in all the other clauses other than from. And then after join with uh, the two tables, we have to use on clause to specify the join condition. The example here demonstrates equal operator. However, you can have not equal, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, etc. to specify the join condition. But they are not very common. The most common way of joining the data sets is by using equi-join. On top of the join condition, you can also specify additional conditions if you want. But that is not a good practice. As per the ASCII best practices, the on clause should only have the join condition. All additional filters should go into the where clause. That's why they have separate uh, clauses for joins and filtering the data. We can join more than two tables in one query. Here is how it will look like. First, you have to join two tables with the condition and then the third table with the join. And with respect to the join condition, it will be between the new table that is added and one or more tables that are added earlier. In this case, there is a relationship between order items and products on product ID. That's why we are trying to join products with the two tables that are joined earlier via order items. That's why the condition says p.productID equal to oi.orderItemProductID. You need to have good understanding about the data model to make sure that you write the join queries uh, with right columns uh, as part of the join conditions. Otherwise, you will be getting incorrect results. As I have mentioned earlier, if you have to apply additional filters, it is recommended to use where clause. On clause should only have join conditions. We can have non-equal join conditions as well, but they are not used that often. Here are some of the examples for inner join. Get already date, status, and item revenue for all order items. Date, status are in orders. and Item revenue is in order items and hence we have to join the two tables. Second example is get order ID, date, status and item revenue for all order items for all orders where order status is either complete or closed. So this is an example for join plus filtering. We have to join both orders and order items to get whatever fields we are looking for. To apply filter we have to use where condition and we have to specify order status in complete comma closed to get only details for those orders which are either in complete or closed status. The third example is get order ID, date, status and item revenue for all order items for all orders where order status is either complete or closed for the orders that are placed in month of 2014 January. Again, this is the example for join plus filtering and we will see the query in action very soon. You will understand what I am talking about. Let me connect to the database first. And this is how you can solve the first example. We are uh, interested in getting ID, date, status, and item revenue, which is uh, available as part of order item subtotal in order items. That's why we have written the query like this. When it comes to the relationship between orders and order items, orders.orderID is primary key, and uh, it is the parent table for order items. Order items have a field called as order item orderID, which have foreign key relationship with orders. As order item Order ID is the foreign key to orders order ID. We have to specify those two columns here. So we have to say o dot order ID equal to oi dot order item order ID, and then we should be able to see the results. In this case, uh, we are seeing 10 records. Order ID, date, and status are coming from orders. When it comes to order ID, either you can say o dot order ID here or oi dot order item order ID. It doesn't matter. Both have same values, and uh, you will get exact the same results. And then we got order date from orders, order status from orders, whereas the order item subtotal came from order items table. Now to validate how the counts look like, first let us get the count of orders. It has 68,083 records. Then this query will return count of order items. It has 172,198 records. As order items is a child table for orders, when there are no additional conditions, 
and when there are no null values in uh, order item order id the join count should match the the count in uh, order items table now if i run this query you will be seeing 172198 records because order item order id doesn't have null values this is one way to validate the tables when we are joining them so if our child table doesn't have null values and also if it doesn't have any other order ids because of whatever reasons then the counts will match if we do not specify additional where conditions now i want to get the details uh, with respect to id date status and order item revenue or subtotal for those orders whose status is in complete or closed this is how the query with inner join with where condition will look like so after specifying the join clause along with the condition in on we have to say where and we can specify all the conditions uh, in where now i should be able to run this and i should be able to get the details with respect to those orders which are in either closed or complete status along with the order item subtotal from order items now if you run the count definitely it will be less than 172198 you can see that there are only 75408 records in order items which belong to orders whose status is in either complete or closed now this is the query for the third example where we are not only interested in complete or closed orders but only those orders which are placed in 2014 january rest of the query is same except for this uh, additional condition and we are trying to compare against 2014 january here this is how you should be able to run the query you can see the results this time order date belongs to 2014 january and you can get the count as well this is how you can actually perform inner join between two tables with uh, the join condition in on clause on top of it if you want to apply filters you can use where clause and you can add filters to filter the data further after joining the data sets